There was a time in human history when religious dogma dominated critical thought. Any individual who dared challenge the prevailing ideology of their time was persecuted, and some even lost their lives. These individuals are the free thinkers of the past, who realized that there was more than one approach to understanding the nature of our reality. Thinkers like Giordano Bruno and Galileo Galilei became known as the first scientists. Which brings us to today. I'd like to simply state that science has become everything that its forefathers fought against a new religion. Any scientist that espouses an opinion or theory or scientific approach that challenges the status quo runs the risk of being defunded, discredited, and professionally disgraced. Pick up a Brian Greene book and read between the lines, or listen to a Lex Friedman podcast. You can hear that they want to say certain things, but they don't because there is a genuine concern that they would lose their professional standing in the scientific community. As a result, we have a lot of great thinkers with great ideas who are afraid to share their thoughts. And that's a problem. Most people still view the field of science as objective and a fertile ground for creative ideas. It's not. Materialism has become the new dogma, and any scientist that dare suggest a different approach is treated as a modern day heretic. I don't think many people realize how much of what we were taught in school as fact or merely just the opinions, theories, and educated guesses of the gatekeepers of the scientific status quo. Please understand that for every idea that is espoused by one group of scientists, there is another group of scientists that believes the exact opposite. There's an illusion of objectivity when it comes to the field of science. We hold scientists to the same pedestal that people held priests in the Middle Ages. These are human beings. They're not omniscient, they're not infallible, and they're not without their own drives and motives or belief system that drives their approach. I'll leave you with a quote by theoretical physicist Max Planck. A new scientific truth does not triumph by convincing its opponents, but rather it is because its opponents eventually die. There's a reason why it is said that science advances one funeral at a time.